Let me get this straight. You want me to have sex with another man. Oh, not just any man, Lois. This is Jesus we're talking about. He's a savior. He can even save our marriage. Why? What's wrong with our marriage? What's wrong with our marriage? You're sitting around talking about sleeping with other guys. Peter, this was your idea. Lois, let's not play the blame game. Clearly, there's been a lot of cheating on both sides. But the point is, where do we go from here? Huh, I don't know. Sleeping with Jesus just feels wrong. Doesn't the Bible say not to covet thy neighbor's wife? Oh, come on, Lois. The Bible's just a bunch of general guidelines. None of the commandments are written in stone. You're really okay with this? Of course. Look, there really is no downside to this. It's one of those things that seems bad, but really is good. Like that fracking company we let drill in the backyard. Well, I guess it is kind of an honor that out of all the people in the world, Jesus chose me. I mean, he could have had anyone. Elizabeth Perkins, Patricia Richardson, Katie Segal. Yeah, I mean, maybe not them, but somebody else. And the son of God's first time should be special, even divine. Maybe I'd actually be doing a good thing. You sure about this, Peter? You bet. As sure as I was when I created Lady Gaga. All right, listen, fella, your game is confusion. Zip, zam, zoop, nobody gets a straight look at nothing. Boy, this must be killing you. You're an atheist, and the one guy you don't believe in is getting to bang the woman of your dreams. You know what? I don't have to sit here and take this. I'm out of here. Can, can you let me outside? Hi, Peter. Well, hello, young man. Don't you look nice? She's almost ready. I'm sorry, I was just coming down the stairs at the same time. Wow, Mom, you look beautiful. Well, we know he's circumcised, so she won't have to deal with that nonsense. Oh, and don't worry about not hitting bottom. I've only grazed it once, and that was with a running start. Hey, Jerome, give me another Pawtucket pet. I'll take it over here on my Brookstone massage chair. That's a nice chair, Peter. Hey, do you think if I let Jesus sleep with Bonnie, he'd give me back the use of my legs? Joe, I don't speak for Jesus. I just get him trim. Now to take this thing out for a spin. <sighs> ah, time for a relaxing, sponsored daydream. God, I love massage chairs. Are you in one, too? Yes, but it's horrible. It was bought for me by Jesus, but now he's doing my wife. Oh, I'm just trying mine out in the store. 